Hi everyone, welcome to next 2022 session on Document AI. I'm Sudhira Wanguri and I lead the Document AI product suite here at Google Cloud. Today, I'm also joined by the Managing Director and the Head of Document Lifecycle at Commerce Bank, Andreas Goldman. We have some new exciting announcements for you today in the Document AI product suite. So let's dive right in. Modern economies, businesses, and livelihoods depend on digital documents. Digital manual labor comprises the work that many of us do, but almost never shows up in a job description. It is essential to the vast majority of today's business workflows, and it captures the value of the data in those digital documents. Why AI ML for documents? Employee experience, significantly lower TCO from automation of manual work, speed, and error reduction are some of the reasons why our customers have told us they've tried to automate tedious manual processes with AI and ML. The reason why legacy technologies require supporting labor, manual labor, is because understanding a document is much more than reading a document. That's where document AI comes in. So let's talk about how we want to help our customers and their employees manage the toil of digital manual labor. Document AI, in a nutshell, converts unstructured content into business-ready structured data. With Document AI, we have made it our goal to turn documents into business-ready structured data. As we work closely with our leading customers, we realize that part of the problem is that legacy technologies are solving a problem that's too simple. Yes, you can get some structured data with a table parser, but we have heard that what customers are really looking for is business-ready structured data. In other words, they're looking for a technology that will read documents in ways similar to humans. They are looking for the confidence that when they start to automate processes, they are not signing themselves up to a different kind of digital manual labor. Google's Document AI presents a simple and cost-effective path to build Document AI processors and a complementary system of record to manage documents and data. Today, we're announcing Document AI Workbench in public preview. Document AI Workbench enables you to automate document processing by using your own data to build models with Document AI's machine learning platform powered by state-of-the-art computer vision, natural language, and neural networks. With DocAI Workbench, you can use your data to create ML models for many document types, such as printed, scanned, handwritten, tabular, etc. You can label with a simple interface. You can train for free at the click of a button. You can reduce your time to market, all while owning your own data within your own GCP project. You can import already labeled documents, and you have two training options. You can train from scratch to create a model of any document type. You can also uptrain to get accurate results faster for document types which have a relevant processor already that you can use as a starting point, such as the invoice processor. BBVA had this to say about the DocAI workbench, and several other customers have been echoing the same sentiment. Another customer, Livio, has uptrained an invoice processor with 1,600 documents and increased their F1 score from 75 to 83, thanks to uptraining. Document AI results now beat the results of a competitor, and this will also help Livio save 20% on the overall cost in the long run. Sears estimates that their time to market will reduce by 80% with Doc AI Workbench versus building custom models. Google's Doc AI Workbench offers a flexible and easy to use interface with end-to-end -end functionality for Pandera's client's demands. And custom document extractors and classifiers not only reduce their prototyping from months to weeks, but also offer Pandera's clients added cost redu uh, reductions compared to their current technologies. Now, Workbench extracted data from documents more accurately and with less training data for flexible document types, flexible layout document types like W9, W2 variants, 
and free layout document types like invoices, receipts, bank statements, and pay stubs. A third-party agency used OKI's workbench alongside major competitors' products to automate this document processing. Here are some of the notable features we are launching as part of the DocAI Workbench announcement today. DocAI Workbench covers essential workflows to develop custom document extraction processors with an end-to-end -end UI support, data import, schema creation and annotation, training and uptraining, evaluation and troubleshooting, model deployment and version management, and a human-in-the-loop integration for last-mile quality assurance. We also have various partners available to help our customers with Document AI. In addition to Workbench, DocAI has pre-trained processors on documents that matter to you, delivering highly accurate data and lowering your processing costs dramatically. Over the past year, we have improved our existing DocAI for Procurement GA offerings and launched new preview offerings. These improvements span across processing of invoices, receipts, purchase orders. We added support for more than six new languages and expanded to new regions. Today, we're announcing the following for Document AI for Procurement. A GA refresh of the invoice and expense pre-trained processors with improvements to normalization and line item entity detection. We're also launching up training in public preview for invoices, expenses, purchase order pre-trained parsers. This will unlock new possibilities for improving accuracy, adding new language support, and customizing the schema. We will also introduce support for five new languages and expand the availability of DocAI for procurement to Canada and Australia. Upgrading for invoice expense and purchase order pre-trained process unlocks new possibilities, as I said, for accuracy, language support, and customization. Here is an example of an invoice upgrading use case where we have used up training uh, to improve the results of the invoice processing. Here's another example of where up training was used to train an expense pre-trained processor to add a new language support, such as Japanese. Today, we're also excited to announce ID document proofing as part of our DocAI for Identity product suite. You can also upgrade pre-trained processors to meet your needs across a wide variety of pre-trained processors, such as the invoice, expense, purchase order, contract, so on and so forth. In addition to our pre-trained processor product suite, as well as the workbench, DocAI also has our state-of-the-art, much-loved DocAI OCR form parser, as well as document splitter features that enables customers to convert their unstructured documents into text and structured data. DocAI OCR is able to do just fine with text. However, as a developer, this would be very difficult to sometimes integrate into an application or a storage system. So here with a form parser, we're able to get back a set of key value pairs and the layout structure really implies that there is a question and answer dynamic for the content in the document. With a parse key value pair, this is much easier for a developer to integrate into another system. With that, I'm excited to announce Andreas Wolmar, the Managing Director of Document Life Cycles at Commerce Bank. Commerce Bank has used Document AI to transform their document process automation systems, and I'm excited to hear more from Andreas. Over to you. Hello, everyone. Commerzbank is the second largest private bank in Germany. It is a leading bank for the so-called German Mittelstand, which is the majority of corporate clients in Germany, and a strong partner for approximately 11 million private and small business customers in Germany with a client-centric portfolio of financial services in two segments. We serve our customers in Germany and globally with approximately 44,000 employees. I'm heading the cluster document lifecycle responsible for the document related services from creation of documents to archiving, as well as the digital communication to customers. I'm driving in parallel the initiative paperless bank in supporting the transformation of Commerzbank to a digital advisory bank. 
The Doc AI use case is a key initiative to enable Commerce Bank overall strategy. Optimization of the business models to, towards a digital advisory bank in combination with a significant reduction of the number of branches. At the core of the turnaround strategy, new advisory centers are created, which directly depend on this document ingestion pipeline. As a full service wholesale bank, in the middle of our transformation, we are still facing a lot of paper based communication with our clients. By introducing, for example, the advisory centers, we have to redesign the handling of documents coming in. The new pipeline is relevant for both segments going forward, private clients and corporate clients. The aim is to automate the recognition of the incoming documents, which was traditionally done by the staff in the branches and the back office. Automation via Google Doc AI will allow us to operate with significantly less staff, taking care on sorting and assigning the documents to the defined business processes. In summary, we are switching from late scan, which means decentral, manual processing and sorting, followed by logistics to the back office for scanning and filing, to early scan, which is central delivery, direct scanning, automated sorting and assigning by Doc AI pipeline, and followed by the transfer to the manual processing. We talk about approximately 50 million scanned pages per year and approximately 30,000 incoming letters per day, adding up to a very high number of document types to be brought on the pipeline. We will run trained documents, structured, unstructured, freestyle, as well as barcoded documents through the pipeline. As a further benefit, it will free us from our own infrastructure by using a fully cloud-based model. At the same time, we will increase customer experience by reducing the running time for incoming documents and therefore much faster fulfillment of the requested service for our customers. Overall, it is helping us to transit to the digital processes with significantly higher efficiency. In addition, the new pipeline will allow us a step-by-step -step migration of approximately 20 historically grown scanning processes with a high degree of manual interaction to the new pipeline within the next years. Not only an innovation case, as well a renovation case. Going forward, we will use the same technology to fully end-to-end -end automate high volume processes, which will be done by a partnering cluster in Commerzbank. The MVP will go live soon and we will then continuously ramp up and retrain to increase the degree of automation. Commerzbank has established cloud partnership with Google, ranging from infrastructure to services. We decided to partner with Google by using Document Workbench due to an innovative and future-oriented approach with a strong partner the covering of a broad spectrum of documents via different industry, as well as a very comprehensive approach for custom documents. And we were running a successful proof of concept already in 2021. The first step is achieved and it's adding value to Commerzbank significantly. And going forward, documents will continuously be ramped up to the pipeline. We are using a, a customized human in the, in the loop interface to comply with all our requirements and data sources, making the handling as easy as possible for all back office staff. Nevertheless, it is just the beginning. Besides ramping up the new pipeline, we have to address the grown process and document complexity within Commerzbank. Based on this, we are trying to simplify those dimensions in parallel to being able to scale as good as possible. We understand it as a multi-year journey, creating added value with every step for our customers, as well as concerning the efficiencies in document handling and processing. We are looking forward 
to realizing the full potential together with our partners. Thank you for having me today. Back to you, Sudira. Thank you, Andreas. We are very excited to hear from a customer such as Commerce Bank how Doc AI has been useful in furthering their mission and strategy. Now on to the next exciting announcement in the Doc AI product suite for today, Doc AI Warehouse. Now, once customers extract data from documents, the next challenge they face is managing and using this data. There are three challenges today. There's no cloud native service to store and manage documents along with its unstructured data. Customers need to stitch together multiple cloud components. Search on unstructured data is very basic, keyword-based, and complex to assemble. And building workflows to process documents requires complex integration of this extracted data with various applications and tools. As you can see on the left, we have a mature portfolio to process structured data. However, unstructured data constitutes 80% of enterprise data and is yet underserved on the cloud. This product was developed to address this gap and unlock value from unstructured documents. With DocAI Warehouse, we address three problems with legacy records. DocAI Warehouse provides you the best of Google's semantic search technology on documents. We've integrated it with best-in-class DocAI for scalable and accurate classification and extraction. And with a cloud-native elastic managed service, we manage and scale the compute storage and databases. DocAI Warehouse features span across search and organization, governance and compliance, workflows and integrations, and AI and data processing. As you can see, Doc Warehouse is applicable to a broad range of use cases, document types, and workflows. We have seen initial traction with financial services, healthcare, supply chain industries, but it's applicable to a broader set of operational document-based applications. What we're announcing today is a UI to administer search, browse, folder, and govern documents, APIs, client libraries to manage search documents, folders, schemas, self-serve provision from the Cloud Console catalog with documentation, and GCS connectors and batch doc AI pipeline management workflows. That wraps up all our announcements in the doc AI product suite today. Here are a few ways that you can learn more and even get hands on with doc AI. Please get in touch with us via your Google Cloud contacts or directly at doc AI hyphen external at google.com. Thank you again for joining us today, and we look forward to working with you all on your document related challenges.